Welcome to Seacrest Technical Spotlight, where we show you how to easily perform maintenance tasks on your Seacrest Industries hyperbaric chamber. As always, if you are unsure of how to perform any of these tasks, please consult with one of our professionally trained field service technicians. Hi, I'm Sam Sauer with Seacrest Industries. I am a field service specialist and today we are going to swap out the three-way valve. First of all, we need to know what tools to use. We have the 5 16 Allen key, we have the 7 64 Allen key, we have an, a, a needle nose pliers just in case we need to pull the three-way valve out, and then also the Crytox to lube the O-rings. The first step is to take off the lower hinge cover or the hockey puck. We do that by removing this Allen bolt. This is more of a pin that goes all the way through the shaft. So when you unloosen it completely, it'll slide out, hold your hockey puck, pull the pin and it'll slide straight down. All right, after we have the lower cap removed, next step, number two, is removing these Allen screws in off of the, the plate. The plate is what holds the three-way valve into place into our block. It will get a little messy because there's plenty of grease on this lower shaft. So either you can wear your latex gloves or get messy. The plate removes from the box and the plate, you have the two screw holes and the pin nipple comes through the center. Okay, the third step is removing the three-way valve. Uh, you can try to get it with your fingers. I generally use a, a needle nose pliers. Just connect it with the nipple coming out, it slides straight out. There's not a particular way that this goes in or out of that. And this is the three-way valve that we're replacing. All right, the fourth step obviously is the new valve. This is how we package uh, the valve when it's shipped out to you with the part number on it. It's bubble wrapped as well, making sure that there's no damaged parts. We remove that and we want to make sure that we have a little bit of Crytox around the O-rings. So I take the tube of Crytox, put a little bit on my finger, you can do this application any way you want. This is the best way that I've felt. And then just a little bit on the O-rings, both of them. The next step is placing the three-way valve into the block. All right, this is the three-way valve. Next step is placing the valve into the block. There is no specific orientation. Just simply slide it into the orifice all the way to where the brass face is flush with your, with your box. And of course, putting the Allen screws back in place, making sure we don't strip anything out. I've found that it's easiest to put the Allen screw onto the Allen wrench and then sliding it into the, the hole and screwing it in. And that's done. Next is to uh, place the uh, cover back onto the, the uh, shaft here. Remember that this is lubed, it goes on nice and easy. The Allen screw is basically a pin with a thread on the opposite side, making sure that it goes into the orifice and threads on the opposite side of your case here. Using the larger Allen wrench, not a specific torque, just making sure that it's nice and tight. And your three-way valve is installed.
Okay, once your oxygen is back on, the final uh, step is making sure that the three-way valve breathes without leaking. And it's just simply rotating your locking cam, making sure that the uh, nipples, of course, are compressing the three-way and releasing the pressure. And I don't hear any leaks. It is functioning as it should. To find out more about any of our full suite of hyperbaric products, please visit us on the web at www.seacristusa.com. Our team is standing by to serve you.